This video, I'm going to be breaking down the Dime 1-4, also known as the 146, the 140. This defense is all the way back in Madden 25. It might be the new variation of the dollar defense. This defense is really, really effective. It's a great defense for switch sticking out of. It's a great pass defense. This is in our Minnesota Vikings uh, defensive playbook. If you guys want to check out the Minnesota defensive ebook, that's going to be available in our school community. That link is going to be in the description down below for just $10. You get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks for Madden and for College Football 25 if you join the school site. You also get access to any updates that we do, any new stuff that we drop while your membership is active. So if you want to sign up, the link is in the description below. Now for the coach adjustments for this defense, generally what I like to do is have auto flip off and auto alignment on base. You can have option defense on conservative and really whatever you want down here. Now, the biggest thing with this defense is the audibles. I want you to notice something cool about the audibles here. We have cross three fire. We have strong eagle slant three cover two sink and cover three sky. Each of these are plays that have a unique blitz that we are going to be running and then you can adjust your coverage however you want within this defensive scheme you're going to be coming out in double safety go so that your safety can walk down into the box this is perfect for switch sticking and defending those same streaks so the first blitz we're going to cover is the cross three fire and i think the best way to run this defense is we're going to audible into it i like to create a cover four shell and then just shade underneath and what I like to do with my user when I run crossfire is I really like to be kind of over in this area of the field. And you're going to see that this really makes this A-gap blitz super difficult. This crossfire will loop through the middle uh, pretty consistently. Um, you can stand over here as well if you want to. Um, but as you see, sometimes it can mess the blitz up, to be honest. I really think it's more consistent if you use her on that left side, which kind of leads me to my next uh, defense that I want to look at is this strong eagle slant three. So what I like to do with this is we're just going to kind of still use her over here. And you're going to see that this guy will loop the tackle pretty consistently. Now, um, there is a little bit of a tell if you're in crossfire or strong eagle, but you will notice through the course of a game, people won't act. I mean, oftentimes people just don't even pay attention to that. And as you see, this is just such a good blitz. Now, again, your main blitz that you're going to want to run a lot in the majority of the game is is this cross three fire, right? Until they're consistently able to pick this up, this is the blitz that I think is why this defense is good. Um, this is the blitz that makes everything else tick, okay? But situationally, what you can do out of this is you can uh, situationally audible to, like, let's say cover two sync, for example. And the beauty of this cover two sync is now we're in a cover two coverage shell. Uh, we can obviously adjust this as well. So if we wanted to, uh, you know, have quarter you know quarter quarter half we can do something like this perfectly fine um but the beauty of this is now my user is kind of in the same spot and what you're going to see here is a lot of times this guy will loop around the tackle and this in four will just be kind of a mix in pressure because the main pass protection that they're going to do for your cover uh your cross three fire is they will double team your nose tackle so then this is where, and this is why I think cover through sky is really, really good. As you see here, you know, we're able to create a really, really nice coverage out of this. Um, you know, we might need to do a little bit more in terms of seam streak protection, right? So maybe we wanted to create, you know, cover two here to the right so that we're better against seam streaks. But in general, this is going to be really good against a double team. As you see right there, we get clean, a clean sim four pressure off of the edge just because they're double teaming. The same thing is going to be true on this left side so if they double team which is the way they pick up cross three fire if they do a double team to try to pick this up now you're going to see this edge pressure opens up as you see right here so this is a huge piece of this is kind of running the right blitz at the right time now one underrated tip that i think i have for you here is you can also give them the same look and just blitz the guy yourself so this is a crossfire we're going to slide our line inside they're going to double team because we're showing crossfire but now we've just said okay we're just going to blitz this guy ourselves and what you're going to see is watch this you see he will still come in just like he will out of the other plays so a little something out of this, but I think this defense all in all is very, very versatile. It's a really, really good uh, switch stick defense, and you have a lot of different ways in which you can get pressure. So this is the 146. If you guys want to check out my entire Minnesota defensive ebook, that's going to be available in our school community for just 10 bucks. The link is going to be in the description down below.